Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, uh, what you are seeing right now is the output what I have achieved in the Substance Painter. And I have created all this uh, from all the tools uh, which we have got in the Substance Painter software. And I would like to show you the whole breakdown of this. So uh, firstly, I have created the uh, maps using the Bake Mesh Maps feature. And uh, what you have here is the normal map, which has no details. It's okay. We have the world space normal. We have a ID map. We have an ambient occlusion map. We have curvature map position map and the thickness map okay so used all that uh, I just achieved with the big mesh maps here and then just say bake the selected textures and uh, what you're seeing is this okay now I'll just go to the layers section and then I would like to switch all this layers off for you to visualize uh, what all has been um, achieved here so the initial layer was uh, iron grainy and I've uh, picked it from one of my materials which are already there so I've just dropped that there and I've got this uh, iron just to start with something then I've added the grunge uh, in the neck area here so how did I do that Firstly, I've created two layers here, okay, two um, layers which are slightly uh, noisy. So I'll just show you how I created that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this and on the top, I'm going to create a new uh, fill layer, okay. And then here, I've taken one dark color and then I just made it slightly rough okay then I've reduced the height slightly lower I mean I take minus 0 0.1 just for you to understand I've taken a different lowest value and then uh, I just wanted it to be slightly rough okay not shining at all so I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to change this to something different. Okay. Now these two layers will be grouped. Okay. So I'm going to take a group option and drop these two into the group like that. Okay. So there are two objects here, two layers here. So one layer will get a mask okay and in the mask we are going to add a fill and in the fill we are going to take a high frequency noise texture something like that so what you will be seeing is this kind of variations okay let me um, select the layer which is having a height of minus 0.1 and this one also minus 0 0.1 I'll just take a uh, contrast color so that you could able to see this is uh, what this group has achieved okay so the color was too close uh, so you're not able to differentiate between them so this is the layer and it's grouped and now I will mask this one and then okay I'll add a fill in that let's pick a noisy texture okay this texture doesn't look good let's go for black and white spots and then start exploring the balance so that you could see this now this is the base uh, iron material and uh, due to the negative height value this new layer is going inside and giving me that nice uh, effect now 
if you have got uh, this kind of um, problems just go to instead of UV projection go for triplanar projection and that should fix that seams and uh, now I have to mask this so that it will be only visible in the uh, neck area so let me select this black and white spots and see how this is masking up my layer okay so uh, if you could see this area is completely showing up this layer and this is not showing up the layer so if i go to the mask that is white color so white is showing black black is making it transparent now on top of this i'm going to add a generator and i'm going to pick a generator called position okay so i should be able to see this position and i'm going to control that position like that and this layer gets multiplied with this now if i go to the material section the noise is not seen on the bottom side it's only seen on the top side so you can increase the contrast and start exploring the the balance there and then take a good control of this <coughs> like that so this is what uh, this layer is all about so i will <coughs> select that layer delete it and bring up this layer you have two layers here okay one has been masked with some black and white spots and you are able to see the group is now having a dirt a position now why is this paint there this paint is to remove this particular area okay so if I show the mask, it's, it's removing that area, okay? I have taken the polygon fill tool, okay? And then I just painted that using the UV chunk method. Let's say if I click on this, you get that white. Because the color is white and UV chunk is there, okay? So if I go to the result here, okay? it's completely masked that so i have to take the black and then fix it now that is what we have got here so it's only showing up in the neck area and uh, that's the second layer okay neck grunge now we have threads grunge which is here so threads grunge is quite easy to do um, so let's see threads grunge also has a, a same two layers same base but its masks are different so we have a curvature map and we have a paint map paint map is to remove this unnecessary things and then I've put the paint to mask out so that's how you get this curvature here okay uh, then we have a layer which is having this kind of lines okay this is one layer only which has been masked with certain noises okay the first one is uh, basically masking out that area okay so i'm selecting the sides so i've painted white in the sides by again polygon fill tool i just selected that then i brought up the anisotropic noise which is a simple fill which has been added with a texture called anisotropic noise 
I've taken second layer to add an extra layer of detail which has been multiplied so if I don't multiply this and put it to normal if you get this result so I have to multiply so that it will be multiplying with the white area and shows up only in the white area and to that again it this gets multiplied and on top of that I've got this metal edge where okay I'll put it to normal so that you could see now how did I get this metal edge where it is very simple select the layer add a generator and then choose metal edge where and this is how simple this is and adjust your requirements here I mean wear level and all that so that's the uh, paint on top of that anisotropic anisotropic layer 2 then you got the metal edge which is going to be multiplied now you get that nice chipping off on the corners now when I switch back to the material you get that nice um, corner chipping okay now we have another layer on top of it which is basically um, I have not changed the name but this is adding that uh, texture on the top okay again it's the same base layer but having dirt which is basically a generator so I fill and then I used a grunge map uh, if you scroll down you have grunge maps below in the fill I've picked them okay so I think I've taken dirt 4 not grunge somewhere you could see see yeah dirt 4 this one I've taken then I've taken metal edgeware to preserve that then I've taken position because I don't want that to happen on the bottom side okay that is how it is now we have another layer sitting on top of it and uh, I've created this dark color which is uh, basically uh, the same black layers but it's too rough and then I use the metal edge wear and then just painted it off and kept it only for the nut uh, you can see the mask of this only it is there in the nut area if not it's showing up throughout the nut and bolt okay so let's put it back here now to add that extra character to it I've added a, a, a chrome layer and it has got a metal edge wear if not it's uh, completely this one so it's again the iron grainy so I've taken like let's say I will remove the mask for you I've taken a black mask and then took a generator and I've taken the metal edge where that's it and that adds that extra shine to your edges okay so I'll reduce the roughness for you to see and also change the color to something golden I should be able to see that layers uh, visibility it, it looks nice like as if it is a brass bolt nut bolt uh, having coated with some uh, steel plating or chrome plating so yeah it looks uh, that way also so this is the whole breakdown and then it's quite simple export the textures and render your result it's uh, way easy to create this kind of organic textures in substance painter okay